Hey everybody, today we're going to be reading out of the book of Romans. We're going to be in chapter 12, and I read out of the ESV version typically, and my uh, version of the Bible actually, um, starting in verse 9, titles this, The Marks of the True Christians. That's very interesting. We're going to start in verse 9, and we're going to read all the way through verse 12 for today. So starting in verse 9, it says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, but fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer. So breaking some of this down, it's very interesting to me just the focus on love. So again, remember, this was titled in my version of the Bible, at least, The Marks of a True Christian. So this is basically saying what we are called to do as believers. And the rest of this chapter, um, it goes on and saying different things, but just focusing on these verses that we just read, there's a big focus on love. It says, let your love be genuine. Love one another with brotherly affection. As a matter of fact, don't just stop there, but outdo one another in showing honor. What does it look like to outdo one another in showing honor? To always do your best to outdo the person next to you in honor, in love. Um, Maybe think about that in relation to your family or your spouse or even your children. There's so many ways that that could play out in your life. Your neighbor, um, that's a pretty strong command from the Lord. Then it goes on to talk about to be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. So we're not supposed to be idle in serving God. We're not supposed to be dispassionate about that, but we're supposed to be passionate about serving the Lord. We're supposed to be excited about serving the Lord. We're supposed to take initiative and do and really put our best effort into that. And then it talks about rejoicing in hope. Why can we do that? Because we constantly have hope in Jesus and from Jesus in any situation. Be patient in tribulation. That's a tough one, isn't it? Be patient in tribulation. But again, why can we do that? Because we know that we have a hope in Jesus that we can trust in no matter what tribulation we may be facing. So we can patiently endure and we can lean on him for our strength. And then the last part of that, it said to be constant in prayer. So guess what? When you need to be patient in tribulation, another way to do that, be constant in prayer over your situation. Constantly turn to the Lord. Constantly lean on Him for your strength and your hope. And these are some of the marks of a true believer, of a true Christian, that we do these things, that we love one another, that we love the Lord, that we pursue God in our spirit and deeper relationship with Him and obedience to Him, that we do take hope and patience in the middle of tribulation, and that we seek our strength from God in constant prayer. So that's just a powerful little section of scripture to me. Uh, I know it spoke to me when I read it. I hope it spoke to you too. I would encourage you to go through and read the rest of those verses as well, the verses that follow, because it goes on in other things too that we're to do as Christians. So it's just a really powerful chapter altogether. But I hope that this spoke to you in some way, and I also hope and pray that you all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your week.